Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Velvet Cashmire from 18th Street Brewery is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So today we are gonna try Velvet Cashmire. Uh, thank you to Mike for picking this up for me. Um, I don't think ABV and IBUs are not on the can. There is not a date. By Untapped, this is a 4.5% ABV and NA on the IBUs. This is a American Pale Ale. There we go. Uh, small white head, all small bubbles, about a half a finger of head. Bubbles that I do have are compact like dish soap. If we take a look at the color, straw yellow, a little hazy. I can see some uh, protein floating in there. A couple bubbles coming up, not very many. Let's go ahead and get a smell. Like a, almost a passion fruit, fruity smell in there. Like passion fruit mixed with malt. I do like the can. It's got a three-eyed goat on it with some hops that are, I'm guessing, blowing out the side since the one over here is coming across. Um, very weird smell. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, passion fruit, fruitiness mixed with malt is what I get out of this. And that's weird for a 4.5% ABV. I don't think I should be getting malt out of this. Let's go ahead and taste it, see what we think. very grassy with like a sweet fruit in there grainy yeah like up front it's like a a, a sweet tropical fruit but then it goes into like a grainy grass taste and the aftertaste is like almost grass. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, like my whole mouth is like a vegetal grass in the aftertaste. But it starts out like, like a sweet fruit. Smooth, light-bodied, like a pale ale should be. But, yeah, I'm not saying it's bad. I, I would go 3.5 out of 5. It's just very, it's a very weird mixture for a pale ale. Let's see if that helps any. I'm getting more of like a malt pilsner out of the smell. I'm still getting that like passion fruit out of there too. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a f sweet fruit, vegetal, grassy, malt grain mix it's weird it's something that i could drink would i buy it again no it is light bodied but i don't really understand 
how they're getting that malt to come out. Like I'm getting, I don't know if it's from the hops. Um, yeah, I was trying to see if, uh, they said anything about it. Yeah. I don't, I'm trying to think how in this light of a beer, you could get the malt to come out. And I guess it would be maybe from putting the hops late in the boil and dry hopped. So that way there wasn't really any hops or IBUs, you know, in the boil that would bring out those, that malt. Because the grain bill for a 4.5% ABV beer isn't going to be that much. It has to be the hops that are producing that vegetal, obviously. But yeah, they must be late in the boil since you're getting them in the taste. Um, yeah, 3.5 out of 5. This is a very weird beer. I would probably pass on it even though the can art is cool. I would probably try it if I went to the brewery, but I wouldn't pick it up again. Let's check on tap. So six of my friends have rated this average 3.71 out of five. Uh, a little over 2,500 people have rated this average 3.77 out of five. Mike did give it a 3.5. He expected more. He likes the can art. Um, Mike... A different mic did give it a 3.75 it must be I I'm pretty sure there there's cashmere hops I will check okay we're back and I I think we had another beer that had cashmere hops in it but the weird part is from the description of them it's saying lemon lime peach and melon Secondary notes of coconut, lemongrass, and candy. I I could see the lemongrass, however they use this. Yeah, I guess you could say citrus. See, and that's the funny thing. This would be a good one to send out as a mystery beer. Now that I'm reading that, I can, I would call it citrus, grassy, lemongrass more than anything. I, I still, in the smell, I do get that, like, fruit. Yeah. I would definitely call it lemongrass now that I read that. That's why I try not to read what hops and what the beer is supposed to be like. Because, yeah, now that I read that, lemongrass is what it is. Vegetal grass is what I was getting. Um, candy, it, I wouldn't say it's sweet. It's more acidic like that lemongrass should be. I... I still wouldn't change my score just because it's too vegetal grassy for me, especially for a pale ale when I think most of that's going to come out. Excuse me. I still get that malt grain in there, that graininess of the beer. I still get some passion fruit malt in the smell. But, yeah, in the taste, lemongrass. And that's why I wish they would put some stuff on here. So after I do drink it, I can find it or on untapped. But, yeah, definitely lemongrass is what this beer shows off the most. So I guess if you want to see what lemongrass does taste like, I would definitely pick this one up. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't change my score. 3.5 out of, or yeah, 3.5 out of 5 on this beer. So if you like this review, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. 
Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. Don't forget to stop by 31st Brewing, check out everything there, and maybe pick up a t-shirt. And until next time, happy brewing. <laughs>